Today we're looking at Elodea, uh, which is a water plant, and we're going to put it in um, tap water, and we're also going to put it under some salt water and see the difference. We're studying about uh, water moving in and out of cells, so this is a great lab to see this in action. All right, so um, we're going to start with some Elodea, a little water plant, freshwater plant, and your lab tells you to pluck off a leaf, one little tiny leaf from here, and I'm going to take one little leaflet, put it on my slide, and then I'm going to add a drop of water, tap water. This is fresh water, so this is water that this Elodea plant likes. Uh, it's used to this kind of water. There we go. And we're going to put it under the microscope and view it. Okay, so I got my microscope set up here. And I'm going to put it on the stage and we'll view it. Oops, center it. And once I zoom in on it and look at it, it's going to look like this. I don't have a hookup for uh, the camera to, to look inside the microscope, so I'm just going to show you. This is what the cells will look like. So you're going to see some bricks. Those are the cells. And inside those bricks are little tiny green round structures called chloroplasts. And if you look at the picture, you can see that uh, the chloroplasts are all over, spread evenly throughout. And that is the normal state of Elodea under tap water. Okay? So now you would be looking in your microscope and drawing structures. Uh, you should look for the cell wall, which is, of course, the outer boundary of the cell. Right inside the cell wall would be the cell membrane, which it, it's pressed right up against the inside of the cell wall, and of course the chloroplasts. So you should be able to label those structures, okay? Now, a different situation will be when you look at Elodea in salt water. So again, we're going to take a slide and our Elodea leaflet little tiny leaf, single leaf, so thin that you can see through it. All right, and now we're going to put salt water. Salt water on this leaf, and this is not the normal type of water environment for this plant. And we put our cover slip on it. And once again, we would be putting it under the microscope, which, take this one off, that's the old slide, put the salt water slide on, and again, we would view that under the microscope, and this time, you will see something quite different. You will see something that looks like this. Now, we still have the cell wall, which is this kind of grayish line, rectangular-like shape. But all the chloroplasts have kind of um, shrunken into the middle of the cell. And they're kind of balled up or bunched up in the middle. And where I'm tracing my finger, that is where the cell membrane is. So all of the water came out of that cell, so uh, kind of like a water balloon would lose water and then bunch up in the middle, and those chloroplasts are all stuck inside that cell membrane. So this is going to explain a little bit about um, what you're seeing. <clears throat> Let's say that this is your cell. This outer part would be the cell wall, okay? In real life, your cells really are three-dimensional. 
that you're looking at, the LODIA cells. Um, <clears throat> they look pretty flat on the microscope, but this really is, you know, the shape of your LODIA cell. And um, when the cell is full of water, if we could look inside of the cell, we would see that, indeed, there is a membrane. The cell membrane is pressed all the way up against the edge. So I have a water balloon in here that's representing um, the cell membrane pushing up against the cell wall. And inside of that membrane would be water cytoplasm, in other words, and all the chloroplasts floating around inside there, okay? And uh, if I were to put this cell in salt water, the cell itself wouldn't change shape, you know? Um, it's going to remain this box-like shape. So it's going to stay 3D because of the toughness of the cell wall. Um, but if we look inside, now, assuming that we put this cell in salt water, the cell membrane will have shrunken in a little bit. So it's not quite up against the edge. It's smaller. It lost some water, and everything that's inside of it would be balled up on the inside. So it has shrunken away from the edges of our cell. So when the cell um, looks like this, this tells us that water has moved out. Well, why did it move out? There was a higher concentration of water on the inside of this cell and a lower concentration outside of the cell. And so the water is going to move from high to low. That means it's moving out of the cell. And as it moves out of the cell, uh, the cell membrane shrinks into the middle of the cell. So that is what happens when we put our cell into salt water. Well, what about when it's in tap water? Um, when it's in tap water, everything is pretty much balanced. So we have an equal amount of water inside and outside the cell. So we have a state of balance, or uh, if you want to call it osmotic balance. So that is your Elodia lesson for the day.